Well, in health news for your family tonight, a rare and serious illness is making its way across the state of Washington. And now a Spokane County boy has been diagnosed with acute flaccid myelitis. KXY 4's Brittany Paris working for you on what the syndrome is, the risks involved too. She is live at the health district in Brittany. This is the ninth confirmed case now in our state. Nadine, the affected children come from six different counties across the state, but AFM is very rare, affecting just one in a million. Now the CDC is working with local health officials to investigate this recent spike in cases. Keep in mind, AFM has no known cure and no known cause. Acute flaccid myelitis is paralyzing and hospitalizing children across the country. It's a horrible uh, thing to have happen to a child. At least 89 people in 33 states have been diagnosed with the debilitating syndrome this year. It's important to note AFM is not contagious. No, there's no, been no link, whether that's geography or, or close contact or, or known association. This latest case right here in Spokane County. Little information has been released, but we do know the CDC confirmed the case in a boy under the age of 10. Because this is early on in the illness, uh, we don't know, you know how long it's going to take for him to uh, uh, to get back to normal function or some parents on our Facebook page immediately suspected vaccines were to blame, but scientists have never found a connection. The range in ages shows no logical link to childhood immunizations. Scientists at the CDC know viral infections, autoimmune illnesses and environmental toxins can contribute to AFM's onset. It causes inflammation of the spinal cord, resulting in limb weakness, even paralysis. But the cause of inflammation is unclear. There's not um, something that can be done to minimize that risk because we, we again, don't understand uh, fully the causes of this. At Nadine, with no known cause, health officials can only recommend taking generic health precautions like getting your flu shot. While it might not have any impact on AFM, at the very least, you'll minimize your children's risk of getting sick. Live in Spokane tonight, I'm Brittany Paris, KXLY4 News. All right, thank you, Brittany.